Good morning from the beautiful city of Esslingen, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Festo's Exhibitor Pitch here at Achema Puls. My name is Dorothy Gelmar and I'm happy that you are there. It will be very exciting. In the next 15 minutes, we will focus on Festo's novelties in Pilot Wolves for Wolf Process Automation. And hopefully there is something you want to ask our experts during this session. We have the possibility to pose your questions to our experts and answer them live here in our session. But experts, who are the experts? Here they are. I'd like to introduce uh, Timo Burkert and Rainer Laun. Hello, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning. Good to have you here. Are you prepared for the questions of our audience? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we are happy to, to see the questions for sure, yeah. And yeah, so I, will, I will overtake the session yes. for you. So okay. take the chance, post the questions yeah. via the chat function, and I will hand them over at the end of the presentation. And now, have fun. Let's go. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for the introduction, Doro. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. This common sentence hits perfectly to our session today. Pilot valves for automated process valve. Timo. What kind of novelties are available or will be released soon in respect of solenoid valve? Today we will show you our new VSNC features for, for our series pilot valves and as well the new features for our solenoids VACC. What kind of functions we are offering in VSNC? We have several functions for our VSNC range. If you look to the panel, if we start on the top, we have VSNC, we have VOFC and VOFD. When we start here, we have a VSNC F8 and a VSNC FN. Two versions which are nearly the same, but with some differentiation. So starting with VSNC F8, F8 is, a, is the valve for all indoor use and for use for coils with IP65 maximum. The VSNC FN is for all applications where you have a hazardous area or you, you are in an outdoor application, for example. Ah, that sounds really good. Maybe go a little bit more in detail, Timo. Uh, please tell us something about the main functions we are offering. Mm -hmm. We have here several functions available for the valves. Um, doesn't matter if it is a VSNC F8 or a FN. The VSNC have one valve which includes two functions. So we have the VSNC F8 and F FN, which have a 3-2 and a 5-2-way function in one valve. Means we have here a metal switching blade where it can switch between the functions. Then we have a 5-2 bistable valve and we have a 5-3-way valve with middle positions, exhaust, closed or pressurized. That sounds really good for me, Timo. Those are the main functions we are covering with this series. Uh, can you tell us something about the protection glasses uh, for the coils we are offering? Yes, the VSNC valves have several uh, protection ignition glasses. Um, they are limited for the explosion protection for VSNC FN. If we start here on the left side, this is our valve C or solenoid series VACN. If we start on the top, it's an XNA coil, means this is a coil which is limited to zone one, uh, sorry, zone two and 22 and have an ATEX certificate. The next one is an XM coil, which is a molded coil with a cable which is have a length of three meter or even 10 meter. This is an optional which you can choose. The third one is a conduit coil, which is has its home market in the North American and can be used in class one, class two, or even class three. The last one is an intrinsic safe coil and can be used for intrinsic safe circuits where reduced power is required. Okay, thank you, Timo. In, th in some cases, uh, customers require flame proof coils. Um, Timo, uh, can we also offer something in the series VSNC with an XD coil? Yes, Rainer, and thank you for this question, because start of this year, we release our new VSNC P2 valve. P2 defines our GNOMO interface according the ISO standard, and with this ISO standard, we have the possibility to assemble our flameproof EXD coil on the VSNC P2 ISO interface. Means we have a flameproof coil to address the EXD market. And that's really interesting. Uh, this is a very compact solution I see as well, uh, a terminal box. And as you know, Timo, a terminal box is very common in the chemical industry uh, in respect of the long distances to be flexible in the cable length and as well to make it easy for the maintenance people to have only one part or one, one part number on stock. 
Um, Timo, uh, do we have as well an intrinsically safe coil with a junction box or a terminal box for the series VSNC? Yes, Rainer, we have. And we have here two solutions. The first is our, uh, our pilot valve, intrinsically safe pilot valve, which we can assemble on the VSNC P2 ISO interface according to GNOMO. So here we have the same GNOMO interface. We can use it as a pilot valve for the VSNC P2. And Additional to that solution, we have our second novelty. This is our VSNC F19 and F19A valve with the amateur tube. And here we have the possibility to assemble our VACC coil series. And with this series, we have as well a terminal box where we can disassemble the cover, bring the cable through the cable gland, connect it to the connectors, and can assemble the coil on the, va on the valve. For this coil series, we have several um, certifications available for the, for, for the worldwide use. If you start, some, for example, we have an ATEX certificate, we have an IECX certificate, then we have a triple C certificate for China, we have an Inmetro certificate for Brazil, we have an EAC for Russia, we have a TS for Taiwan. I think that that cover the most um, certifications and the regional requirements worldwide. And the big advantage of this coil series is that we can use these coils not only on VSNC, no, we can also use it on the valve series VOFC. Ah, okay. These valves are very well known by, uh, by me, Timo. Uh, they are used in uh, several applications in the chemical industry and as well in the oil and gas industry. The valves are re highly reliable and proven in use since years and as on a global level. I will give you one example. More than 1,500 solenoid valves VOFC are installed since 2002 in the big chemical customer in Germany. That means roughly 20 years in operation without any failure. In respect of this, we received from the notified body a new certificate with extended lifetime and, um, and extended proof test interval up to seven years. That's really proven in use. Timo, can you give us a little bit more uh, details about the main functions and uh, technique? Yes, I know I can. And if you start here, it's uh, our VOFC valve. Our VOS VOFC valve are indirect operating valve. The VOFD valve are direct operating valve. If you start, uh, or for both valve series, we have a quarter and a half inch port size. And we have an inline version and as well a NAMU version. And the NAMU version is according to VDI VDE 3845. But we have as well an extended uh, NAMU interface according to VDI VDE 3847 with the P port in the flange. The main application of this solenoid, uh, solenoid valve are the direct installation between the positioner and the actuator as a safety shutoff valve. This reduces rigid piping and tubing and prevents for sure the leakage. Festo offers a complete automation package for this application. That means positioner series CMSH, uh, actuator series DFBD-C, an adapter manifold or block, and for, as already mentioned, the solenoid valve. Timo, um, can you give us a little bit more uh, 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 details about the material we are using here? Yes, we have two different kinds of materials available. The first is a stainless steel valve uh, in 316, and the second is an aluminium body, um, which is coated with, is called emaltal. Emaltal is a, has a ti titanium dioxide content, and with this content, we have really good experience in, in the line, in, in on customer side, and as well on internal tests, where we can see that the emmental coating is on the same level than a stainless steel material. That's a really good point, uh, Timo. As you mentioned, this kind of solenoid valves are often used in safety-related systems. Um, um, from this uh, come to the point, what can we offer in respect in so-called SIL application for the general, I will say, uh, uh, series? If we start on the top, uh, our VSNC valves have a manufacturing declaration according reliable 
and use an improved data and can be used up to a CL2 circuit. The VOFC and VOFD valves have a third party certificate and can be used in a single channel uh, to for a CL2 circuit and in a redundance up to a 3C circuit. Wow, resistor noise valves, we see really a lot of opportunities on a global level in, in case of, I will say, protection glasses and as well in technique. Thank you for your attention, and I, uh, now I think we come to uh, so for some questions, yeah? Yes, we do. Yeah. First of all, thank you very much for that dive into process valve automation. Thank you very much, Timo and <laughs> Rainer, and thank you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for posing your questions. It's early in the morning, it's only two, but they are very good, so I pass them to you. The first question is, uh, Timo and Rainer, in case of redundant assemblies of solenoid valves, we want to reduce rigid tubing and the risk of of lackage of it, does FESTO have a smarter solution? Timo, do you want to? to yeah, I will answer. So yeah. yes, we have a solution. Mm -hmm. So um, we have a Namur block. So it's more or less a, a metal block which have holes inside where we can assemble according to VDI and VDE Namur interface 38472 uh, pilot valves. So VOFC valves directly on the block and then we have realized the redundancy for a Namur interface. Okay. The same is available as an inline version, if you see it like here. Um, it's the VOFD technology, which we have from the series, and we have it inline, that means we can pipe it. Okay, great. So we have three minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. If there is something in your mind you want to ask the gentleman, take the chance. The question will appear here, maybe there is one. Um, second one that I'd like to hand over, guys, is how can I find the important sill values? I will take uh, over. Please. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's really easy in in in, uh, in Festo. Uh, that means y you have visit our I will say our support portal and give insight or enter the the part number and all the documentations are available. That means uh, also for the explosion protection, the uh, the approvals um, and as well for the uh, for the seal declaration. I will say all val all needed values are on our support portal. So great. Thank you for that answer. I double check if there is another one. No, it's not. But gentlemen, thank you very much for these deep insights. Um, you will have a next presentation for today, right? There is another session? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What is it about? Tell yeah. us. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I will take over again. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah I'm happy to, um, to tell this. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, an additional session uh, later on. I think this is 10.45. We speak about the topic still uh, in a little bit more in detail. Uh, and I'm happy if you are visiting our session there. Absolutely. I hope you have time. Ladies and gentlemen, check out our company profile here on the Achama Pulse platform. There you can find anything. You can find the contact information of this gentleman, of Rainer Laun and Timo Burkert. For sure, all other colleagues and specialists uh, from your country in different languages, you can contact us. You can contact them via video call, via call, or via chat. For sure, there's all information about email and so on. We have more information about all the things that we are showing about Festo's innovation that we want to share with you. So get in contact with us. Stay tuned. We have a lot more sessions to come today here at Achama Pulse. And again, thank you very much, gentlemen, for these insights. And thank you for your attention. Hopefully see you in the next sessions. And we say goodbye from beautiful Esslingen to your office or home office. Bye-bye. <laughs>